In San Jose, California, there's choice after choice of after-school programs to assist or enhance learning. Computer engineer Will Shaw takes his son to Efficient Academy, in large part because of its rare use of artificial intelligence. I think uh, during the pandemic, you know, there's a lot of online learning, but I think this one uh, is special because uh, I think it has a AI base. It has helped me because I was able to go ahead of school. And right now, since I'm in third grade, but I'm in, I am in, I'm learning fifth grade math in here. Efficient uses AI to not only come up with the questions, but also to detect the optimal path for students to reach their learning goals. So you have a computer intelligence system to analyze this one, so you can automatically find out what needs to be further learned, what needs to be enhanced, and what things has been mastered and what has not been mastered. And you can also analyze what things has been learned in the past and need to review now. Tsinghua University and Berkeley educated Fong is also a former electrical engineering professor and the founder of a tech company. In my previous company in the electronic design, so the technology and the design methodology and uh, change every year. But however, you look at the, high, the, the classroom education, it's the same as 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So one teacher teach a few dozen students and everybody the same pace. Now the technology are different. And we can use more advanced technology can make things customized. Fong says efficient data shows that his students are learning two to five times faster than at traditional schools. That includes both math and English, though he says English can be a bit tougher for AI to assess due to its subjective nature, especially with essays. As for math, an answer is either right or wrong. Michigan State Professor Christine Greenhow co-authored a paper on the ethics of artificial intelligence in K-12 education. She says public schools in the U.S. have been cautious about incorporating AI. We have the potential to make learning more personalized, to offload some of that work of assessment from teachers, helping them focus on other things, to the artificial intelligence. But at the same time, you have to say, well, how are we going to keep students safe, manage privacy concerns? How do we think about bias built into the algorithm, algorithmic systems of AI? It actually adapts to what you're learning, so it can, like, when you don't know what something, it can explain it to you. So really, it feels like it, it, it knows you quite well. It knows, like, what uh, lessons and topics I should really learn and, like, skip on the ones that I already know and I don't really need to learn again. Fong believes it's only a matter of time before public schools start using AI. But for now, he's happy to have created a program that uses those tools to help students stay ahead of the curve. Mark Dew, CGTN, San Jose, California.